afternoon, basketball fans. We're here for another game in the Asain Basketball League Season 9. Rise to greatness. This is the game between the Saigon Heat and the BCS CLS Knights. We're here at CS Serena in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It's a beautiful day. Uh, my name is TK. I am going to be the host for this game. By my side is ever the legend here in Vietnam, Coach Kevin Yerkes. What's up here in this game, Coach? Well, a lot to look forward to in this game. You got the 11 and 8 Saigon Heat coming off a thrilling victory last week uh, against the Formosa Dreamers. Uh, uh, one where they got an incredible play at the end of the game to, to steal the victory away. And, and we look at the uh, BTN CLS Knights as well with a hard fought victory last Saturday at home against Little Vampire. They're 10 and 10. Saigon Heat 11 and 8, their third matchup. We should get a good one today, partner. As you mentioned right there, both teams stuck in the middle of the standings trying to improve their playoff seeds. Of course, the CLS Knights visiting the Saigon Heat for the second time this season. And as you see here, the results from last game, CLS Knights were able to beat Moto Vampire at home where they are so, so good. They took it into overtime and finished the game with Maxi Escho scoring 37 points in total here. As you see on the screen, that is a familiar face in Saigon, Coach Kevin. Yeah, it's a homecoming for Maxi Escho. He played here last year. He was one of the featured imports, scores for the Saigon Heat. Uh, he knows this game, and Coach Kyle Julius knows Maxi Escho well, and I'm sure he's got a, a great game plan for him tonight. Yeah, and he's been on a tear this season as well, scoring at a very high rate for the PKFC last night. They will expect pretty much the same from him here in this game. On the Saigon Heat side, they took it to the Formosa Dreamers, another strong team, and beat them in their house at Changhua County Stadium, 74 to 72. As you mentioned, it went down to the last play for the Saigon Heat were able to force a turnover and get the win. Yeah, excellent resilience by the Saigon Heat. They felt the game slipping away from them. They made an outstanding play at the end to steal the victory. Number 11, Arif Hidayat. Number 13, Dara Watkins. Number 16, Ferman Lugroho. Number 17, Katong Vasgoro. Number 18, Mashi Esho. Number 22, Echo Bravo Wo. Number 24, Mo Saroni. Head coach of Seo Ignite Indonesia is Mr. Brian Ra Maurice Rosam. Head coach, assistant coach, Mr. Koko Heru Sencho Lugroho. Và các bạn cổ động viên của Sài Gòn hết đâu rồi? Give me some fire to welcome Sài Gòn Number 7, Nguyễn Huỳnh Phú Quân Number 2, Harry Number 34, Team Well. Number 22, Corey Celia. Number 20, Chris Dutton. Number 8, Mr. Wiggle, Dun Dun Number 12, Justin Yeah. Number 17, D'Angelo Hamilton. Number one, Trevor Hughes. Number 13, Murphy Benatoski. Head cover, of Sagan Hidden Minister. Assistant coach Mr. David Singleton. Xin được giới thiệu giám sát viên và người trọng tài của trận đấu hôm nay, the Mr. Referee for this game are Mr. David Bình Đức, Mr. Yong Sun Thi, Mr. Ho Sin Go, Mr. Owen Siong Chan. Và xin mời tất cả mọi người chúng ta đứng lên để làm lễ chào cờ.
Everybody, please stand up for the national anthem. Good God. And that there was the player introduction along with the national anthem of the of Vietnam. Once again, another interesting matchup here between Trevon Hughes and Douglas Herring, two of the best point guards in the league. Yeah, it's be a great matchup here. Trayvon Hughes has been leading his team all year, a legitimate MVP candidate for the Saigon Heat. And then the newcomer, Doug Heron, has made big plays all year for the, well, since he's arrived for the BTN CLS Knights. Yeah, both, both are very good offensive players, but an underrated side of them are how good they are on defense as well. And that will all be on display here tonight at CIS Arena when the two match up. Another key player, for the Saigon Heat, Shandang Kwa. He has been a delight surprise for the Saigon Heat. A young, young player coming in to step up. As you see, there are nine points, five rebounds, and seven assists in the previous game. That young Kwa Tron is a playmaker. He was a playmaker in the VBA, had a slow start to his rookie ABL season, but he's come out real strong, getting great minutes for the Saigon Heat, making plays, he's elusive. They call him Mr. Wiggle for a reason. And he continues to be Coach Kyle Julius's Starting option, starting another game. And as you see on the screen there, Brian Rosum, the coach for the CLS Knights this season. What do you think about his, his season so far, Coach Kevin? First of all, the dapper Coach Brian Rossum today in that beautiful suit. <laughs> I, I thought uh, Coach Rossum has had a, an excellent rookie season. They're 10 and 10. Uh, they, they swapped out two imports midseason. And it's always hard to get a rhythm going when you bring new guys in. They don't have the benefit of a training camp. This team got on that hot. I believe a seven game winning streak earlier this year and they're right in the middle of the playoff hunt and they're capable of beating anybody. They are one of the best home teams in the league but today they are on the road and they're going up against another team that has done so well here at home, the Saigon Heat. They have not played in this arena since January 20 but they are back at home. Yeah, you know they played twice this year, Saigon Heat, victorious in both games. Now, the BTN CLS Knights have two home losses. Alep, uh, San Miguel Alep Filipinas in overtime, and Saigon Heat by a convincing double digit victory. Yeah, that's very interesting here. And the starting lineup for both teams, the usual for the CLS Knights, Wong Wei Long, Gerald Watkins, and as we mentioned earlier, Douglas Harry, this is the starting five that Coach Brian Rosum has stuck with. He's been shooting lights out for the Knights over the last several games. He's found that three stroke that he's so well known to have. And for the Saigon Heat side, they will not have Kyle Barone for a fourth straight game. Instead, it will be D'Angelo Hamilton. Yeah, Hamilton comes in and uh, he's no stranger to basketball here in Vietnam with the Saigon Heat. He's been in and out of the lineup this season. Uh, he's a, a defensive effort and energy guy, and he brings a different element to this team and helps his team uh, bring a little, a sense of toughness uh, in, in willing their ways to victory. 
The starting lineup for the Saigon Heat, the usual three imports, Murphy Bernatowski, Trevon Hughes, D'Angelo Hamilton, John Kwa and Justin Young. That's the five that Coach Kyle Julius will start the game with. Yeah, and a very athletic fight. It's an excellent matchup between starting lineups here. You look at the two local players from the Saigon Heat, and Quatron and Justin Young versus Long Way Long and Brandon Jawato, who themselves are outstanding players. We all know the ABL history of Long Way Long, and Brandon Jawato has had an excellent season. Uh, at times, he's capable of playing import level. And as we look at uh, Saigon Heat's uh, local players, they're capable as well. Chris Durker coming off the bench has had some monster games for Saigon Heat, and he could be a factor in this game as well. For sure. We'll wait to see Chris Durker coming off the bench, but it's just great to see Justin Young coming back into the starting lineup. He had that injury during the middle of the season, but and that's something that has plagued the Saigon Heat, those injuries. We'll, we'll see how they overcome it in this game. Yeah, I'm told that Justin Young is about 90%. He had a really bad high ankle sprain that he got in game four uh, on the road against Macau. And he's, it took him a long time to get back. He's been playing his way back into form, and he's about 90, 95%. And here we're about to tip the game off. The CLS Knights start the game. They are in black uniforms for this game. Saigon Heat, of course, in white. Now the matchup I'm looking at right away here is Hamilton versus Watkins. It's the, the, the athleticism, the agility of, of Hamilton versus the size of Watkins. And the defense of Hamilton showing off immediately in the first possession, blocking in Maxi Escho attempt. That's what he does. He's a good offside help defender, blocks a lot of shots coming from the weak side. CLS Knights return to favor with the steal from Brandon Chihuahua. And here's Douglas Herring. He'll go down the paint and an easy mid-range jumper for Douglas Herring. Yeah, that was a nice move, came off the screen. We saw that Saigon Heat was, was late, picking up the ball, and he just knocks down the mid-range jumper to get CLS their first two points. John Nankwa starting off the offense, gets it to Hughes in the corner for three, and it goes down! Yeah, good read by Quadron, and an even better read by Trayvon Hughes to flare out to the corner where the open spot was. CLS Knight is not waiting, pushing the pace here. Brandon Chihuahua going at Trevon Hughes. Instead gets it to Watkins for another mid-range jumper. And you can see right there, Trayvon Hughes, his on-the-ball defense is as good as any guard in the league. Brandon Chihuahua is a strong physical player, and when he gets going to the rim, he's tough to stop, and you saw Hughes there cut him off, but unfortunately, Watkins was able to get that easy mid-range jump shot. Nakwa with a, a pass that went over Hamilton and another turnover for the Saigon Heat. Almost makes up for it with a steal, but only gets the deflection. And that last play between Tron and Hamilton, it's just a misread. Uh, Hamilton sets the screen, Tron thinks he's gonna roll, he pops, and it's just a miscommunication that results in the turnover. Something that the young guard will have to work on. He goes up against Wong Wei Long here, who drives down the middle, kicks it out to Watkins. He has that range, but doesn't take it. Then drives back down, gets Maxi Esho on the drive. Fade away mid-range jumper. Uh, good, good defense there. Bernatowski, not, there's not a lot talked about with his defense, but he's an excellent defender. He's shown that all season long. He played great defense last game. You saw it right there in the early possession here in this game. D'Angelo Hamilton adding two more points for the Knights to lead five to four early in this game. And we've got a slugfest early on here. Both teams feeling each other out. It could be one of those games where you know it's tight all game. We'll see. Yeah, Watkins has a drive to the paint and he gets it down. Both teams attacking the basket aggressively. Yeah, miscommunication there on the weak side. No inversion on the weak side to help. And Watkins gets an easy one at the rim. It's Hamilton again. He gets left wide open for three, but doesn't knock it down. And Hamilton can hit that. He's an underrated three-point shooter. And it looks like the Knights are going to leave him open. He's got to shoot that shot to keep him honest. Another pick and roll. Trevon Hughes, nice pass. Good passing all around from the Knights, and it ends in a triple from Wong Wei Long. And speaking of guys that, that have been shooting the ball well, Wong Wei Long, you know, known as a playmaker, a guy that does a lot of different things, but he knocks down the three like he's been doing the last several games. He gives the Knights a 9-5 lead after three minutes in the first quarter. Commits a foul on that end as Trevon Hughes tries to penetrate towards the basket. Now, partner, we've seen this in Saigon Heat this year. They get down early, double digits in the first 
first quarter. No panic by this group. These guys understand it's a four quarter game. You know, they can give up a few buckets early on and then just, as long as they keep playing. Bernatowski tries to answer with a three, does not get it. Yeah, this night's on the run again. Wrong way long. Wrong way long gets it to Watkins at the free throw line. So Watho, his first attempt of the game, does it knock it down. And good on the ball defense there by Justin Young to make Jawato a little uncomfortable with that long shot. Again, another set between Trevon Hughes and Bernatowski gets double team. Kicks it out nicely. Good back pass. And a for Murphy Bernatowski. Yeah, excellent play all around. What you see there is the poise and leadership of Trayvon Hughes. He deals the double team, doesn't panic, backs out, finds the open man, they get an easy bucket. But Douglas Herring does not feel the emphatic dunk. Answers with a three of his own. Builds the lead to 12 and seven. Can't leave him open. He's got a sweet shot. He's capable of knocking it down. CLS Knights, two consecutive possessions here, getting back cut by the Saigon Heat. You can see they're bringing Watkins, they're, they're putting him up on the weak side and a little bit outside of the restricted area, and it's leaving the, the, the backside corner player wide open for a baseline cut, and it was a smart play by Justin Young to pump fake and get the first foul on Watkins. That's the benefit of having such a versatile lineup. As you mentioned, D'Angelo Hamilton can't step out to the three. That means that Daryl Watkins cannot just stay in the paint and just wait for those cutters. Yeah, Justin Young, you know, I, I haven't heard this comparison much, but I like to call him a Swiss Army knife. He does a little bit of everything. He can score, he can rebound, he can play on the ball defense, he can defend screens well. He's just a high IQ player that makes good plays. Maxi Esho has Bernatowski on him, slips there, mid kicks it out to Watkins. Way long gets the screen, looking for his options. Nice pass to Watkins, gets the foul and the basket. Yeah. Excellent play. Long way long. He's been doing that for years in the ABL. And he sees the screen, he reads it, just throw it up to the big fella, let him get close to the rim, and an and one opportunity for Watkins. So far, both Waylong and Harry have been using the advantage of Daryl Watkins on that screen. Hey, you know, partner, Daryl Watkins is listed at seven foot. I haven't seen him in person since the first game, but he's a legit seven foot, maybe about 270 pounds. He's a big guy. The big guy gets the rebound right there. Douglas Harry pushing the tempo up again. It's Jawato, drives straight at Justin Young, draws the foul, and another and one play by the Knights. Excellent move by Jawato. Gets Justin Young leaning on the three-point line, crosses him over, and that's what he does. Six foot five, athletic, can finish at the rim, and you know, give, gives the CLS Knights a chance to get an early 10-point lead here. And down by nine points to Saigon Heat. Coach Kyle Julius calls the first timeout of the game. to get back into the action of the first quarter between the CLS Knights and the Saigon Heat. The Knights are up 17 to eight. What do you make of this game so far, Coach Kevin? Well, both teams are coming out, they're executing well. The CLS Knights have just knocked down a few more shots, but we've seen this story with Saigon Heat. It's not where you're at in the first quarter, however, it's where you are in the fourth quarter. And no panic from Coach Julius, no panic from the players. They'll keep fighting to find a way to get back into this game. And then Jawatha misses the and one free throw attempt. And Trevon Hughes will set up the offense for the Heat. Sandra gets it on the wing again. Hughes 
trying to get the screen for Hamilton. Gets an open Bertowski who kicks it back. Nice ball rotation. Trevon Hughes does not punish the defense there, but good ball movement by the home team. I can't ask for that. Anything better than that. You know, we always say as coaches, make the right read, live with the result. And, and that's what they did. They got the right read, just couldn't knock it down. Long way long, gets the screen, gets open, but does not get the three-point shot. Saigon need attack, Javon Hughes goes right by Harry, nice moves, but tries to pass and gets a steal. That's another turnover by the Saigon Heat. Offensive board by Jawatho, strengthening his way through the paint. Nice defense by Justin Young. Yeah, there was contact on that play there, but what Justin Young did is he walled up, kept his hands up, and his chest straight, and that's why he didn't get the foul called against him. There you go, Justin Young gets two points on the other end, doing a little bit of everything, just as you mentioned earlier. What I like so far here, partner, is the officiating, is allowing these two teams to play, letting them be a little bit more physical, but the game's not getting out of hand. It feels almost like a playoff atmosphere. I'm not sure these two teams are in the mix of the playoff run. Douglas Harry sets it back to Watkins on the post. He has Bertowski on him. Maxi Esho has yet to score. Gets the drive there. And another and one. D'Angelo Hamilton called for the foul. Uh, excellent move by Esho. He sees the, the bigger Hamilton on him, sizes him up, attacks to the right hand, and gets to the rim with a strong move. That is the first two points of the game for Maxi Esho, an unusual sighting for the CLS Knights for the leading scorer. Yeah, he's their go-to guy, he's their energy guy, he can put up points in a hurry, and you know, the last thing you want to do is let him get a couple easy ones at the line because he can rattle off six or seven in a row. Fortunately for the side, he misses the first one there. Von Hughes gets Hamilton down low, nice move, nice pass, easy to put. Yeah, excellent cross screen there, and Hamilton did a good job there. It, a lot of guys in the cross screen, they'll flare out too far. Hamilton State, right around the restricted area, and that's why he was able to get the easy one. The CLS Knights enjoying a seven point lead with three minutes left in the first quarter. Saigon, he gets a steal. John Nagua looking for options. Gets by way long. Nice man, the back pass. And it goes down. What a play by the youngsters. Yeah, and almost a steal there. Guatron playing hard, gets the steal, and gets his team right back into it. Youngster earning his starter minutes. And Trayvon Hughes bringing the ball up. Trying to add more points on the board. Passing down to Hamilton. Gets the long way long on him. And six straight points for D'Angelo Hamilton. For forcing a timeout by the CLS Knights. Excellent patience by Hamilton. You see uh, Coach Rawson there is trapping Trayvon Hughes, but that's not working because Hughes is able to split the trap and find the old man. We're back with two minutes, 41 seconds left in the first quarter. The CLS Knights had a nine point lead, but a run by the Saigon Heat. Six straight points by D'Angelo Hamilton to get them to within three. Yeah, and it's gonna be one of those games. You know, a team goes on a six, seven point run and might not be enough timeouts for these two coaches to be able to stop the run. So, you know, we'll see if uh, the defenses settle in and, and start making stops. CLS Knights first to make a substitution, bringing in Furman to Groho, possibly to rest Daryl Watkins a bit. 
Darren Watkins. Rojo with a hook, doesn't get it, but gets his own miss. Brandon Tawato draws another foul. It is on Justin Young. It seems to be on Justin Young. And Brandon Tawato did the two-step shuffle there before he went with the ball, but I think the ref was looking at something else. But uh, maybe he took dance lessons here today before, before the game. The ref, the ref saw it differently. And that is Justin Young's second personal foul. Coach Kyle Drew is leaving him on the floor. There might be some him later. Arif Hidayat doesn't get the three, and the Saigon Heat will bring the ball up. And more importantly, that's the fourth team foul for the Saigon Heat. The next foul will put the BTN CLS Knights in the bonus. Jandong Kwa gets Trevon Hughes, Murphy Bernatowski for three. And he sinks it down. Yeah, that's an excellent look. Good patience by Trayvon Hughes to get in the paint. Bernatowski pops off the pin down screen. He gets the wide open look, and that's his shot. Seems to be a two pointer instead. The score is 18 to 17. Wade Long tries to answer with a three, does not get in. The CLS Knights are on the back pedal. Trayvon Hughes attacks the paint, but will go back out and go back in. Sanukwa, open, drive. Wild shot, but it rolls in. Quadron, he knows these rims here at CIS Arena. Played a couple of seasons with the Saigon E. He knows if he just throw it up there, he might get a soft bounce. That's exactly what he did that last possession. And now all fielded players for the Saigon E on the board with points. Mervyn go in the post against Justin Young, who has two fouls. Kicks it to Wong Wei Long. Drives by. Tries to get Justin Young, but nice defense. Von Hughes, corner three, Chandel Kwa, bang! Wow, great read by Trayvon Hughes once again. You know, Trayvon Hughes coming off that hamstring injury early, earlier in the year, playing like an MVP this season, made an MVP play there. And a 13-0 run by the Saigon Heat. Can they add more in these final seconds? Yes, they can. Murphy Bernatowski. I believe, partner, that's a 15-0 run for the Saigon Heat, fueled by their defense. Getting stops, getting rebounds, and playing more of an up-tempo style that we've seen, unlike what we've seen in recent games. Long way long, kicks into the corner to stop the run, still cannot get anything. Trevon Hughes sees the clock, and he will play it out for the final possession of the first quarter. Yeah, if they can add on to their run here, 15-0 run, about five seconds ago. Trevon Hughes. Shanakwa for three, can he repeat? And it doesn't go down, but what a run to end the first quarter. As we mentioned, 15 and 0. Saigon Heat up 25 to 19 at the end of the first quarter.
And we're back for the second quarter. We're here at CIS Arena in Ho Chi Minh City. It's the game between the Saigon Heat and the CLS Knights. We'd like to greet a happy birthday to the ABL COO, Jericho Ilaga. Great job he has done with the league. He sure has. And the way, especially the way the league has worked the last couple of years, it's become a true international league and a, and a very hot destination for many basketball players. Happy birthday, Jericho. The Saigon Heat are doing a great job as well, adding more to their run. It is now a 17-0 run, one way long. Finally stops the bleeding with a layup there. Two points for the CLS Knights. Yeah, Corey Celia just into the game. A uh, long way long season. Sizes him up, caught him looking the other way, and beat him to the glass. Nice move by Wong Wei Long. Despite that long run, Trevon Hughes adds two more on a driving layup. But the Heat are up by eight points, 29 to 21. You know, a big part of this run here has been when Watkins is on the bench. And on cue, we see Watkins getting ready to check into the game. You know, his size was a presence early on, and uh, Coach Brian Rossman sees that as well. Max Yesho with a mid-range J, and he knocks it down this time. With this lineup out here, the Saigon Heat have to look for Maxi Esho, put a lot of bodies around him and make other guys beat you. What a move there, but Trevon Hughes unable to get away with the defense. A turnover by the Heat, and the CLS Knights have another chance to chip into the deficit. Maxi Esho, long way long, has Silly on him. He got them the first time. Rojo, nice fake, and he rolls down the right hook. Yeah, that pump fake is underrated. You know, when you get guys, guys like Hamilton or a shot blocker, sometimes all you need is, is a little shoulder fake, show the ball, get the guy off balance a little bit, and you find yourself with an easy opportunity. Vaughn Hughes passes and gets deflected by Kurni Awan. Daryl Watkins, Douglas Herring, and Febri Utomo, all three coming onto the floor for the Knights. Maxi Esho and Sandy Kurni Awan will stay on the floor. And let's see if Kearney Awan can get going here, if they can find him, if he can be that spacer like he's been over these last several games. Bernatowski has Esho on him. Nice moves. Does not knock down the three, however. And the CLS Knights will bring the ball back up. Douglas Herring against Trevon Hughes. Sandy Kearney Awan against Corey Celia. Now that's the marquee matchup there, Herring against Hughes. And you see Hughes not giving an inch to Herring in the post. Maxi Esho replies with a three right in the face of Murphy Bernatowski. Yeah, all it took was to get him that little and one, and you know, then all of a sudden the basket gets a little bit bigger, maybe throwing it into a lake, and if he makes a few more, it'll start to look like an ocean. Seven points for Maxi Esho, that he do not want him to get fired up. Nice rebound by Durker. Does not get his first two points, but gets fouled by Utomo, and will have to earn it at the charity strike. Excellent hustle there by Chris Durker. That's been the MO for this Saigon Heat team all year is effort, energy, second chance opportunities. Chris Durker has made a living on that this year, and he went through four guys to get that rebound, and now he finds himself a chance to get on the, get on the board for, for the Saigon Heat. Such a strong, strong guy. Chris Durker having a marvelous rookie season for the Saigon Heat. Knocks out his first free throw, gets on the board. Yeah, definitely a candidate for, for local player of the year. I'm not saying he'll be, I know some there's some Bobby Ray Park fans there out there that, that might think otherwise, but, but his name is definitely in, in the discussion. He's had an excellent rookie campaign. Definitely should be there. CLS Knights, Walkway Long, who's on the bench, should be in the conversation as well. Tomo gets it to Esho. Corner three from Sandy, does not make it. Trevon Hughes pushing the ball up in a hurry. Gets by Sandy. Kicks it back out to Murphy Bernatowski. Jerker. As the lane to drive in, power move, but call for the offensive foul. Yeah, good position there by Maxi Esho. I mean, Chris Durker is a big body. It doesn't take much, you know, to stay in front of him. If he hits you, you're, you're gonna you're gonna fly about six or seven feet. That's what Esho did. And hey, look at the replay. It looks like a looks like a decent call there. But you know, Chris Durker has had some excellent games this year. I mean, he can make that little five or six foot floater. Now maybe that's the next progression in his game. Sandy Kurniawa gets it to Watkins. He has not scored since returning, but he kicks it out. Sandy misses it out. Another rebound by Durker. And that's a defensive mistake by the Saigon Heat. You, you can't get caught in those splits and leave Kurniawa with a wide open three. He's a three-point specialist. 
Vernitowski gets Utomo, steps back for three, rattles it in. That is his specialty. Now, that's a sweet shot. Hard, one hard drive into the middle, a two step, step back for a knockdown three. That, that's an excellent move. CLS Knights can't answer the Heat. Have a six point lead, Trevon Hughes in the middle, pulls up a three, and they're just piling it on the CLS Knights right now. Nine point lead, Ryan Rosen forced to call a timeout. to the action. This is the Asayan Basketball League Season 9 Rise to Greatness between the home team Saigon Heat and the visiting BTN CLS Knights. The Knights were up by as much as 9 points in the first quarter but have now have fallen back to be down by 9 points after a huge run by the home crowd. Yeah, it's an 8-0 run there fueled by two step back threes. One by Bernatowski and one by Trayvon Hughes. And you know, give credit to these guys. They work on, they work very hard in practice. They work on those shots. Those are not easy shots. You take one or two hard drives and then a bounce back three. To give them credit to their hard work throughout the season. And a turnover by the CLS Knights. Sion, he nice fake by Justin Young. Gets it back to Jerker. Nice pass. Unable. But Chris Jerker once again with the offensive round and the putback. The lead is now in double digits for the whole team. Yeah, you saw Durker, he learned, right, from the last possession. Instead of barreling his way in, he took one dribble, was under control, and he finds Trayvon Hughes for the easy bucket. But he get the, got the tip. Good hustle play there by Durker. Defense of the Saigon Heat is picking up and forcing the CLS Knights out of their game. As you can see there. Maxi Escho, though, bailed out by a call that, on the foul. That's a tough call. <laughs> Ball's loose, he's out of control, he's you know, flailing and falling, and the referee just bails him out with a whistle. And it's a lot, though, looking for options. Oh, excellent defense by Bernatowski. Yeah, he has to pull up for a three, and he finally gets his. And that's the one guy you can't let get an open look there coming off the screen, but Saigon Heat played good defense there for 22 seconds, but a big shot by Herring. His team needed it. Maxi Esho still getting the assignment to pick up Bertowski, who pulls up for a three. It's a shootout here in Ho Chi Minh City. Four triples by both teams in the last possessions. Yeah. Bertowski's got it going. You see that sweet stroke of his. Saigon Heat continuing to play suffocating defense, forcing a difficult shot out of Gerald Watkins. Nice cross pass. Bernatowski open again. Does not knock that down. The crowd could have gone wild. Yeah, it's funny how the tough ones go down. The step back, bounce back threes, and then the walk up practice shot threes go in and out. That's basketball. Sometimes it's too easy for these guys. Joato though, that's easy for him. Another three by the CLS Knights. Yeah, I'm counting here. That's about the fourth six point swing that we've seen in this game. You know, Bernatowski gets a wide open look, a chance to go up 14. They come back, Gerato gets a, a knockdown three to cut it to eight to keep his team hanging around. Basketball is a game of runs. Both teams are trying to get hold of their advantage. Trevon Hughes pull, pulls up, flangs it out. Angelo Hamilton tried to tap it right into the hands of Watkins. So that's nice again, Maxi Esho thinks about it, he thinks. Durker again doing a horse burn down there in the paint, rebounding the ball. 
Looks like Hamilton took a shot there on the other end. Gonna have to get a minute to regroup there. Still on the other side of the floor, D'Angelo Hamilton walking up. Good, good action here, partner. Really, I mean, both teams aggressive at the rim and giving up nothing. So intense, back and forth, to the delight of the fans here at CIS Arena and to everyone home watching from wherever, Mono Max or the live streams on the ABL social media. Justin Young passes to Chan Hua. A little bit packed in the paint and another turnover by the young point guard. Yeah, he left his feet, got caught in the air and threw it right to the CLS Knights. Esho drives down the paint, difficult pass the way long. Has to set it up again with 14 seconds on the clock. So what though, this time the shuffle does not get away from the refs. It's called for a traffic violation. We call that a walk in the park, don't we? Yeah, he's got a little anxious there. He, he saw greener pastures, but Sunday's not the day for that easy stroll. So a timeout will be called by the side on it. We'll be back in action for the final 33 minutes and 15 seconds of the first half. for the final stretch of the first half. The Saigon Heat still up 42 to 34 against the BGS CLS Knights. We have a wonderful crowd as always here in Ho Chi Minh City. Chanakwa brings the ball up. Justin Young and Trevon Hughes also in the backcourt. Loud crowd here, huh? Here. One of the most passionate crowds here. And they celebrate the layoff by Chanakwa. Mr. Wiggle getting to the rim. Wiggling his way into the paint. See how that's nice defense caught sleeping. Chawato to Wei Long gets him up in the air, lay up, and in good move by Wei Long to get into the paint. Yeah, he's a veteran guy. He's unfazed by the venue, by the crowd noise, or by the moment. He's played a lot of big games in the ABL. Sanda a wild release, probably looking for the passing option, unable to get it and needed to take a shot. Yeah, good observation there, partner. You saw his eyes look across, and then he got himself caught up and had to throw the ball up. Watkins cross pass to Harry, quarter three. Wide air ball. The crowd's going to let him hear that. I felt the fan on that one. <laughs> yeah, coming, coming long. Javon Hughes gets inside the paint, right hand, scoop it in. Another two points, 10 point lead for the Saigon Heat. Yeah, good play by Hughes. He saw Harry leaning the wrong way. And he took a faint swipe, and Hughes gets to the rim with an easy finish. Way long. He has been taking advantage of his mismatch. Gets into Tuato. Nice screen there by Watkins and Tuato. Easy layup on his end. Yeah, that's he's tough. That's the one thing you can't let him do. You got to pick your poison with him. When he gets going downhill, he's very tough to stop. So you almost got to play sink, play off him, and make him try to beat you from the outside. Good defensive stance there by Daryl Watkins to stop D'Angelo Hamilton with the easy basket. Yeah, all Daryl Watkins has to do is put his arms up and you know, he's an instant block machine. Strong guy, long guy, and tall, as you mentioned, the seven footer. Played at Syracuse, has some G League experience. Again, the CLS Knights there caught sleeping, allowing Murphy Veritowski to get wide open, but Douglas Herring able to foul him before getting the easy two. You know, let's talk about the Saigon Heat for a second. They started out 3-0, completely healthy team. 
and then Trayvon Hughes had the hamstring injury. And then since then, it's been one string of injuries after another. Justin Young, Trayvon Hughes, we see Sang Dan out for the year. Uh, Kyle Barone in and out of the lineup with uh, some injuries, having to replace him with, with D'Angelo Hamilton. But yet this team finds themselves right in the middle of the playoff hunt. And you know, the credit to Coach Julius and the players and staying focused and committed and fighting through key injuries this year. They're gonna be a very dangerous team when it comes to playoff time. Those are the breaks of the game. And a championship team, a championship worthy team has to be able to get through those hurdles. Santa Qua gets Hamilton in the post. He has Watkins on him as usual, trying to back him down, looking for options. Nice pass to Hughes, down the lane, left and right. What a move by Trayvon Hughes. Yeah, a little fake with the right, back with the left. Good patience by Hamilton there. There was nobody, nobody moving, but they ended up finding Hughes, who gets an easy one at the bucket. Another mystery by the Seattle Knights. Murphy Bertowski punishes them. It's a three-point attempt, but unable to knock it down. Uh, that would have been a dagger to end the half. Still up by 10 points, 30 seconds left in the first half. Brandon Jawatha drives straight. What a block by Trevon Hughes. He lets him go in. He said, I got you there. And he did. Does not take the three immediately. We'll set it up, looking for the final say. Yeah, they could hold for one shot here. 15 seconds to go. Already up 10. With a chance to build on their lead before the half. Trayvon Hughes, a monster block. Look at that again. Still with the ball in possession as well. And that's the kind of block you want as a coach. You know, unfortunately, I can't read this, but I sure would like to know what he had to say to Brandon Gerardo there. Must not have been nice. Brandon Gerardo didn't look like he appreciated it. This guy's a sensational defender, Trayvon Hughes. Not only is he a playmaker, but he can do a lot of different things. D'Angelo Hamilton gets the hook after being unable to kick it out. Two more points for the Heat. Four seconds left for the CLS Knights. And time will run out without an attempt. The CLS Knights still down by 12 at the halftime break. A big, big run by the Saigon Heat at the end of the first half. We will be back with the action in the second half later. Just don't, don't go away and stay tuned.
and we are about to start the second half of the game between the Saigon Heat and the BTN CLS Knights. This is the SAN Basketball League Season 9. We're here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam at the CIS Arena. What a game it has been. The Saigon Heat are up 52 to 40. What do you think about the first half, Coach Kevin? Well, the CLS Knights jumped out to a 19-10 lead. And since, since then, it's been a 42-21 run for Saigon Heat. You know, they've had slow starts before. I said it a couple of times earlier. But once they get in the rhythm, and they got a few shots start falling, they get talent scoring. Bernatowski, Hughes, Hamilton, all in double figures. They got different guys that can beat you, and they find themselves with a 12 point halftime. Been a great offensive output for both teams. The Saigon Heat shooting 63%, the CLS Knights shooting 58%. Both teams only have four assists per team on each side. Yeah, but you know what we're seeing is these teams are playing hard. Yeah, sure, they've given up some easy buckets and, and, and uh, had some turnovers, forced some turnovers, but it is definitely a playoff-like atmosphere. You can see these teams taking it into a different gear, especially Saigon Heat. You know, the guys are starting to get healthy. They're starting to come together. You know, they've, they're these last six or seven games, figuring out what they're going to go into the playoffs with, and they're playing with the playoff edge right now. Both teams and a balanced offensive output. Six players on the scoring board for both sides. The starting five of the CS Knights, no one with less than five points. Seven points for Wong Wei Long, nine for Maxi Esho, seven for Brandon Joato, 10 for Daryl Watkins. For the Saigon Heat, Trevon Hughes with 12, Bernatowski with 14, D'Angelo Hamilton with 10, Chandra Gua with seven, and Justin Young with two. It seems like both squads will be sticking to their starting lineup to start the second half. And it, CLS will have the ball first. Let's see what Coach Brian Ross will see what kind of adjustments he makes. You know, what's he going to do? Is he going to extend his defense a little bit? You know, what I would do is I'd put Watkins on Justin Young, and I'd sit him in the paint, and I'd press the perimeter. And we've seen Trayvon Hughes, Murphy Bronitowski, D'Angelo Hamilton get easy looks at the rim. And that's good. You know, we saw Watkins one time get a rebound almost at half court. He's seven feet tall. He's got to get be, be under the basket. Justin Young, not known for his scoring. The other four guys on the court for Saigon Heat, they can knock knock it down. They can score from all over the floor. So you know, let's see let's see if what kind of adjustments Brian Ross has made here at halftime. How about on the other side with Coach Kyle Julius? They're up by 12. What do you think he has to tell his team in the second half? Well, continue doing what you're doing. Stay aggressive. Attack the rim. Put bodies in the paint. Make CLS take tough shots. And when you get misses or turnovers, push it and transition going the other way. Douglas Herring starting the half for the CLS Knights. Gets Jawato on the wing and dumps it down to Daryl Watkins, who once again has the Angela Hamilton on him. Tries to barrel his way and gets the left hand hook. That's good defense by Hamilton, just a better move by Watkins. The sweeping left hand hook. We haven't seen that from him much this year. And that's a much needed two points to start the half for the Knights. How will the Saigon Heat reply? They have Angelo Hamilton in the paint again. Bernatowski, he was on fire in the second quarter. Misses his first attempt. But the rebound was collected. And seems like a basket interference by the CLS Knights. Those two points will count. <laughs> I don't understand that <laughs> call. You know, there's a lot of hands around the rim, and uh, there's no basket interference that affected that shot of Justin Young. He just short-armed it, and then he got bailed out, and that's a, that's a tough break for the Knights. Saigon Heat with some full court <laughs> pressure as Wang Wei Long brings the ball up. He has Chana Kwa on him. Kwa's a good on the ball defender. He does a good job in the open court, guarding in space. You can see him doing, a, doing an excellent job moving his feet against Wong. Watkins gets to Tawato, who has Hughes on him. Kicks it back out to Wei Long, who attempts the three, and he knocks it down. And he got hit as well. It's a heck of a shot by, by Wong. Watch on ran at him and clipped him a little bit, and now the lead's down to nine. Good start so far by the CLS Knights. Two made field goal attempts. 
long way long. A step behind the Trevon Hughes. Forced to foul there on the penetration. Well, this is how the night started out in the first quarter. They jumped out to 19 quick points, and then Saigon Heat settled in, and, and you know, over the next quarter and a half, just you know, put the hurt on them, and we'll see if the second half starts the same way. That is the first personal foul on Way Long. Trevon Hughes does it not knock down the three. Darrell Watkins collects the seventh rebound of the game. Maxi Esho still has Barry Tauscott and as he has been all night. Goes to Way Long. Tries to set the screen. Good defense there by Chanakwa before getting called for the foul. I said this earlier, but I'm looking at that one-on-one -on -one battle between Bernatowski and Esho. And yeah, Bernatowski is really staying in front of guys. You know, he's probably 240, 250 pounds. You know, he's definitely got a size advantage on Esho, but he does a great job of moving his feet and making it tough for, for Esho to attack. Stopping Esho at only nine points in the first half is certainly a big deal. Watkins, good spin move. Kicks it back out to Harry, who does not hit the three. Now those would have been found points there by the night. That possession was discombobulated. Danagua to the corner. Murphy, Bernatowski. This is the three. Excellent offense there. You can't ask for a better look. Hamilton gets in the paint, catches the Knights. Collapsing and gets Bernatowski for a wide open three. Maxi Esho, nice pass to take advantage of that size. Watkins gets his own miss and puts it back in right over Justin Young. Now all Watkins has to do is just go straight up. He's barreling into guys and fading away. 12 points and nine rebounds for Daryl Watkins. Brandon Chihuahua has Young on him. Maxi Esho with a three in front of Bernatowski. That's a difficult shot. Excellent defense. You know, Bernatowski baited him into that shot. You know, that, that would have been a big bucket, but it looked like a little bit of a force. Trevon Hughes hesitated on the pass. Miscommunication and a turnover by the side on Heat. I'll go back to Watkins. That first possession of the second half, he made that sweeping left-handed hook. Sometimes a made shot like that is they start going back to fadeaways. Seven foot tall, you're the biggest guy on the floor. By four or five inches, just power your way to the cup. Way long with the turnover. Saigon Heat on the run again. Bergentowski. That is not going to get away with the refs. Hopping towards the basket. It's a traveling violation. And another consecutive turnover by the Saigon Heat. A sloppy play by both teams to start the second half. Throwing the ball away. Guys leaving their feet. But you know, that's to be expected. We've got a couple of teams playing their, their third time. They're right in the thick of things in the playoff run. You know, expect the game to get a little ragged at times. Seven turnovers so far by the Saigon Heat. Three on the CLS Knights side, but CLS Knights still trail by seven points. Esho gets his drive tapped out by D'Angelo Hamilton. Shot clock down to seven for the CLS Knights. And that's where Hamilton and Bernatowski are effective. They can switch those screens. They're both you know, 240, 250 pounds, and they're not going to get pushed around by anybody. Gelato inbounds the ball. He goes back to Wei Long. Wei Long tries to bait into the foul, and another turnover by the Knights. Four or five consecutive turnovers by both teams. Good job of... Trevon Hughes drawing the foul. It's kind of interesting to see Wong in a CLS Knights uniform, <laughs> isn't it? You have a longtime Singapore slinger, national team member. And he's been doing such a good job for the CLS Knights this season. Maxi Esho gets the open court, drives, draws the foul, gets it swatted away, but the whistle is called first. Esho a bit slow to get up. Uh, he's able to get on his own feet. And that's where Esho is dangerous. He's athletic and elusive in the open court. And when he gets a full head of steam, he's, he's tough to slow down. And you see him there with a, a good aggressive attack. And Hamilton went for the block and just came down on him. Nothing there, incidental. Maxi Esho, as we mentioned earlier, only nine points so far in this game. Make that 10 after the three throw. What a good job the Tiny have done to limit their former player from scoring too much in this game. Coach Julius, Maxi Esho, a former player, he knows him well. He 
knows how to game plan him, and he's got an excellent game plan against him tonight. Von Hughes. He has Joao to honor this time after the switch. Now to Watkins. And they go to D'Angelo Hamilton. Nice spin move. Tapped away by Esho, way long. Has Justin Young on a good pass to Esho. Nice tap to Daryl Watkins for the slam. Uh, good transition play there. First of all, the defense on the other end, the slap away. And they get the nice run out. Nice touch pass there by Brandon Gerontis. That'll be a timeout. We'll be back to resume action for the final six minutes of the third quarter in a bit. As we come out of the timeout in the middle of the third quarter between the Saigon Heat and the CLS Knights, this is the final day to make roster moves for all teams. Despite most teams having already figured out themselves pretty much, but there are still some changes that some of them might want to make. Well, I think the big one that everyone's sitting and waiting on is will San Miguel <laughs> Ala Pilipinas add a third import for the stretch run? And then Justin Brownlee is just sitting right there. We do not know if he's there, but last season he, he helped the team to a championship. That's something that's worth looking for. I mean, he's an exceptional player, but yeah, they're playing really well. I mean, they're getting contributions from a lot of guys, and that's the reason why they're 16 and three. And there, Trevon Hughes misses. CLS Knights on the run once again. Maxi Escho, nice galloping move to the basket, and Maxi Escho starting to heat it up here in the third quarter. And he puts up points in a hurry. That's what Esho does. He can rattle off six, eight, ten in a row, and he's on a little mini run right now himself. Chandakwag, bounce pass to Hamilton, and again, CLS Knights on a run. They have been trying to get out on the break. Maxi Esho pulls up a three, and Maxi Esho continues to spark the CLS Knights and now they've just taken the lead out of nowhere. Yeah, it's a 15 to two run to start the quarter and it's fueled by their defense. They're getting stops, they're getting loose balls, forcing turnovers, and that's leading to easy buckets the other way. Once again, Darrell Watkins, he's just standing there and waving his hands. CLS Knights looking to add on. Does not get that one, but nice tap by Watkins. Way long, still the ball alive, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Douglas Herring to Watho. Quick move to the basket. Another offensive board and another foul by Murphy Bernatowski. What a run this has been by the Knights. Yeah, they've turned it up into a different gear here. The Knights have, again, fueled by their defense. And I talked about this coming out of the time, uh, the halftime break. What adjustments were Brian Ross gonna make? And he made the one adjustment. He put Watkins in the middle. If you got a seven foot wall, as some around the world might say, build a wall. <laughs> and that's what Brian Rossum has done. He's put Rockets in the middle and he's creating problems. You can extend your defense knowing that you got a seven footer to, to sit in the paint. Exactly, despite Maxi Esho putting up the points in this front, it has been Daryl Watkins who has been starting all of this on the defensive end. Well, let's see if he can hold up that energy. He looks a little tired tugging on his shorts. Still a lot of time left, more than 16 and a half minutes left in this game. And, Watkins uh, hang in there. CLS Knights up 56 to 54. John Nakwa kicks it to Jerker. Bernatowski gets it back to Jerker. Makes the pass. John Nakwa, mid-range jumper. Wild shot. And again, a rebound by Watkins. Yeah, but Watkins on, on Durker, and he doesn't have to hedge that screen and roll. He just sits in the paint. And he's there when Durker rolls. Nice split by Way Long all the way to the basket. And Watkins! Does not put the put back in. Saigon Heat on the run. 
Trayvon Hughes finally stops the bleeding and ties the game with a mid-range J. That's a four-point swing. I, I thought I heard a whistle there, but, but I've been known to hear things. <laughs> Watkins stays in the paint, gets blocked. Great defense here by the Heat, but eventually you just can't stop a tall guy like that around the rim. A uh, sensational play by Hughes to challenge the seven-foot Watkins, but Watkins doesn't give up on the play. And he gets a couple of attempts and then gets the finish. Hugh sets up for that right to the face of Way Long, but he collects the basket ball instead. Yeah, so I got he just needs to settle down a little bit. They're pressing, taking quick shots, not taking care of the ball. Just be patient, run your offense, keep moving, and look for the defensive breakdowns for the Knights. Esho makes the three. Toronto drives into Bernatowski, and another foul by Bernatowski. That is a big call. That should be his third personal foul. We'll wait to confirm from the table official. Yeah, that's the third foul and the fourth team foul. So the Knights will be in the bonus for the remainder of the quarter and a chance to build on that two point lead. And well, Saigon Heat sitting on four points this quarter. That's an 18 to four run in the first nearly nine minutes of the third quarter. But you know, it's only a as Esho, uh, Gelato misses the free throw, it's only a two-point game. Despite the big run for the CLS Knights, one possession away, and that can turn so fast as we've seen in many of these games here at CIS Arena. Both teams with big runs in the game. Gelato's free throw gives the Knights a three-point lead with three points, three minutes left in the third quarter. Trayvon Hughes trying to get the screens there. And the last time Watkins went out, I'm gonna circle this, this moment, Saigon Heat went on a big run, and let's see if uh, the same thing happens again. It's Brian Rosen banking on the contributions from Furman to Groho. If he's able to keep the boat at bay, Sandy Kearney on one, fakes the mid-range check. Back to Way Long, who still has trying to go out and go straight down the paint. Easy left-handed layup. No step up from the weak side there. You can't let a guy get three dribbles, a guard. You know, it's one thing if Max Siesho gets three dribbles and he jumps over the, the defense, but you can't let a guard get three dribbles all the way to the rim with no resistance. We've seen Wong Wei Long take advantage of that a couple of times. 10 points already in this game for the guard. Jerker does not take the three, drives it straight to the paint and rolls it in. What a strong move. Yeah, could have gotten the foul there. He drew, some contact, Negroso there wasn't wasn't set, but good finish by Durker. And, you know, Saigon Heat hanging around, only a three-point game despite their struggles. Max Yesho has Bernatowski on in with three fouls, drives, slips a little. Negroho, the right-handed hook, and there's a foul, a loose ball foul. It's on Negroho, so the Saigon Heat will get the ball. Coach Brian Rosa is living right now. <laughs> Yeah, I can see why. Uh, uh, we didn't get a good look at it. I was blocked out, but it looks like McGraw had the, the angle there, but we couldn't see his off arm, but the official underneath, give him credit, he had uh, the better angle. With less than two minutes, it's still a three-point game. The Seattle Knights have clawed their way back. The crowd trying to rile up the Saigon Heat on the floor. Trevon Hughes with the ball. Yeah, look at this lineup for Saigon Heat. They're going big. With Justin Young and Chris Durker with the three imports. Bernatowski cannot hit, and another whistle. Yeah, that is just a foul you cannot make in that situation. You know, I talk about this all season long. You can't compound one mistake or one missed opportunity by adding another immediately thereafter. They're in the bonus, three-point game. You're fighting to hang in there in the third quarter, and you just can't put guys on the line for easy points at this stage of the game. Seems like Justin Young's second personal foul. Maxi Esho still struggling from the line. It's only two for six so far in this game. Usually a pretty decent free throw shooter. Now the Knights, have, by my count, have left four, maybe five free throws on the board this quarter. They could, they could have really extend that lead if they would knock down their free throws. Once again, another miss, the league's fifth leading scorer at 24 points per game. Plagues another one out on the free throw. Maybe he doesn't like these rings here at CIS. <laughs> D'Angelo Hamilton, he has the Groho on him. 
Tries to pivot around. Nice defense by Nugroho, but could not get the rebound. Hamilton brings the heat to within one. That's a good recognition of the mismatch. Nugroho can't guard Hamilton in the post. They need a good job of sticking with it, cutting the lead to one for Saigon. Saigon E. Bernie Alwan has Hughes on him, almost gets picked away. Esho for three. Rattles it in, what a touch there. Can't make a couple of free throws, but you can <laughs> knock down the hand in your face, side fadeaway three, go figure. Yeah, that's nice, up by four, 40 seconds left. Nice pass. Jerker still kicking it around the end, though Hamilton, not answer, but Justin Young with a tough rebound. Esho finally gets the board. The Groho signals to slow it down. They want the last say. Well, they can't quite get it. So about a four second difference, but nevertheless, with a four point lead in the bonus, take your time, get a good possession to continue the momentum heading into the fourth. Awkward screen there. Utobo drives to the mid range. Jay, shot clock expires, three seconds left. Trevon Hughes pulls up and will miss the final 10. We will be heading into the final quarter. The CL Knights have turned it around to take a four point lead, 64 to 60. We will be back for the final 10 minutes of action in a bit. are about to start the fourth quarter of what has been an exciting game between the BTN CLS Knights and the Saigon Heat. This is the Asain Basketball League Season 9, a Rise to Greatness. My name is Sajatam TK Kosum Boone. Alongside with me is Coach Kevin Yerkes. We're calling the game between BTN CLS Knights and the Saigon Heat. Here's the final 10 minutes of the game. What do you think of the game so far, Coach? Well, 24-8, uh, third quarter dominated by the CLS Knights. Let's see how the Saigon Heat respond in the fourth quarter. I was watching the, the halftime, or the end of the quarter huddle there. Coach Julius was, was calm, just telling his guys, hey look, hang in there. We're only down four points. We played a lousy third quarter, so keep playing. And let's get a couple of buckets and a couple of stops and get back into it. They started off with a good defensive possession. Both teams actually quick hands by Douglas Harry. CLS Knights gets the ball back. Excellent play there. Normally that's called a foul in this league. Those swipe down reaches, but that's a nice play by Harry. Brandon Chawato, strong drive to the basket, unable to finish. Both teams have not scored yet. Trevon Hughes did not hit that mid-range jumper he loves so much. That's a good look for Hughes, though. He's usually automatic from that distance, but that one he couldn't get to, to go down. The guy here, Douglas Herring, his contributions have been silenced a bit. Kearney Alwan unable to hit the three. Yeah, Kearney Alwan's got to wait. He, he, Watkins had Trayvon Hughes on him. He's got to wait for him to get in the post and not just shoot that three. He hasn't been knocking down the shot this game. Uh, that's a missed opportunity. Murphy Bernatowski has Esho on him. Drives, nice strong move. Unable to put it after the separation. Yeah, good move, I mean, we're seeing a lot of hard play here, but neither team can get the ball to go in the hole. After some good offense in the past three quarters, the defense is picking up 
nearly two minutes without a single score. Douglas Herring in the post against Hughes. Fade away, Jay, and he finally puts the CLS Knights up first in his final interval. Yeah, that's excellent offense there. Hughes is as good a defender as there is in the league. On the ball, in the post, off the ball. Just a better play by Herring there. 66 to 60, Trevon Hughes in the middle. He hits it right back. The guards are replying to each other. This could be a tough battle. Is that the uh, anything you can do, I can do better? Right? That's what we might see with this marquee matchup here. Right there, Douglas Harry trying to make it with good, great defense, actually, by Trayvon Hughes. Deflected the ball out. It'll stay. It's a foul, actually. That's <laughs> a tough foul. Yeah, he got that arm in there, but the ball looked like it was already loose. Great defense off the inbounds by Bernatowski. He will go on the offensive side. Nice sidestep. Tries a little bit of a fancy pass. And it's a turnover by Bernatowski. Yeah, Bernatowski had the little pull up there, and he thought Hamilton was going to cut through, but couldn't get Hamilton to cut through there, and it results in another turnover. Sloppy play. First two and a half minutes to start the fourth quarter by both teams. Spoiled, but it was a great defensive steal by Bernatowski on that end. Douglas Herring trying to get a screen by Watkins. Kicks it all the way to Sandy. Jawatho drives by. Unable to finish after a great blow by move. Once again, they are on the defensive end. Trevon Hughes brings it up. Gets a screen by Young, pulls up for three. Flangs it out on the back side of the rim. Maxi Esho sees the open court. Gets Harry. Another miscommunication, another turnover. Saigon Heat. What a move by Trayvon Hughes. Forces a turnover out of Brian Rosa, but what a change of pace in the air. Yeah, excellent athletic play, contorting his body. I thought he was going to dump that off to Bernatowski, but he made the right read. It's a tough finish. Cuts it to a two-point game with 6.45 left in the fourth quarter. Coming out of the timeout, the CLS Knights up 64, 66 to 64. Coach Kevin, you were here last time the CLS Knights visited the Saigon Heat at CIS Arena. What do they have to do to avoid the same collapse they had last game? Well, this is this is, was not a big lead by the Knights. So only a four-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. And you can see in the first three minutes and change, they've dummied down their offense to high ball screen and roll. Now, Brian Rawson's an ex-NBA player, and that's something that you see a lot in professional basketball. But not with seven, eight minutes to go in the game. They need to run their offense, get more movement, get the ball inside, get some cross-action splits, not just default to high screen and roll. That's something you do with you know two or three minutes to go in the game, but not with six or seven minutes. Let's see if Coach Rawson made the adjustment here. See what they do. Way long. Gets it back to Harry. So I got Eden to jump to his own out of the timeout. Eshel starting his game more in the paint. Way long for three. Rolls out. Does not get the rebound. And the Saigon Heat with a chance to tie or take the lead. Von Hughes gets picked away by Way Long. Push it up to Harry. They got the numbers. Maxi Esho skies for the alley oop. Yeah, it's a big, it's one of those four point turnarounds. We've seen a lot of that here. Today, you know, uh, one team having the advantage and then making a mistake and the other team capitalizing. And that is an exclamation point by Max Isho against his former team as they give a four point lead. Justin Young gets the separation, but D'Angelo Hamilton puts it back in. I like the no call there by the official. That was a flop by Wong. Even 
he was on his heels before Young made that contact. And good job by Hamilton to stay with the play. Wall kicks it to Esho, quick pull up, and Esho, two big baskets in a row. What a three from the quarter. Yeah, just don't put him at the free throw line. Just keep him out in that three point line. He's deadly tonight from there. Von Hughes gets into the corner on this side. Jerker unable to hit. Esho can't collect the rebound, and the ball will stay with the side on to hit with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, see what the CLS Knights can do with, with Young and Durker in the lineup. They can sit in the paint and protect their end, force those guys to shoot outside shots. If they hit them, then you know you tip your cap, but the, the scouting report is they're not gonna hit those. The CLS Knights have built up a five-point lead. The way the game has been, though, that, that is a pretty big gap. Both teams going back and forth. Yeah, this is a big possession here. There's still, you know, five minutes to go, but. Yvonne Hughes unable to answer with a three on his end. You can't get much a better look than that. Hughes with a wide open look on the wing. Maxi Esho has the hot hand. He has lit it up in the second half. Going back to Daryl Watkins, though. Bernatowski, strong defensive stance despite three fouls. As the side got hit on the turn. D'Angelo Hamilton barrels his way. The ball goes out, and it'll stay with the Heat. Now both teams playing hard, scrappy. Uh, you know, that last possession there, Watkins gets in the post against Bernatowski. And yeah, Bernatowski, again, showing his, you know, tough on-the-ball defense, gives up nothing in the post. And you know, here, 4.49 to go, Saigon Heat down five. Only have scored 14 points in the second half, and you know, they just got to keep grinding it out. Jerker to Young. Bernatowski tries to drive by, gets a separation off Esho. Awkward jumper, but he makes it count. Good job by Bernatowski to stay balanced there. Doesn't fade away. Sometimes he leans a little bit, he stays strong, and down to a three point lead again. Long way long, now has Hamilton on him. He gets to Chihuahua. Chihuahua drives by Young, corner. Douglas Herring knocks down the triple. Yeah, big bucket there. Good play by Chihuahua, who's been a little out of control at the rim in this game, but he makes a nice, composed play to the paint and finds Herring for the wide open three. Both teams coming up with big shots. Can Justin Young continue? Misses it out, but Trevon Hughes, the hustle on defense, setting up Bernatowski. And again, an offensive board, but swiped away by Daryl Watkins. Another big defensive play by the big man. They got numbers. I see Esho unable to emphasize on the op opportunity. Hughes will set it back up to Hamilton. Bernatowski to Hamilton. They are slowing it down, looking for a clear shot. Bernatowski has Jawato on him this time. He hit it last time in this kind of possession. Unable. And the CLS Knights get away. Still up by six points. Three minutes left in the game. Douglas Herring trying to set it up. Backs down Justin Young. Still backing him down. Nine seconds on the shot clock. What a move by Herring. And he is going to get called for a technical foul for that. Bad, bad move there by Herring after a big, big basket. And he should get a technical foul. You can't smack the ball like that. Normally the referee will give you a warning, but when you're demonstrative in your actions, you're gonna get the technical foul. And an unnecessary play by Herring. Instead of being able to emphasize on a big basket, instead the Saigon Heat will get one free throw made by Bernatowski and possession of the ball. Let's see if they can capitalize. It's only, that's also a personal foul on Herring. Only his second. And nobody for the CLS Knights is in foul trouble. Nobody with more than two fouls on the Saigon Heat side. We, just Murphy Bernatowski with three. So, you know, guys should be locked in and aggressive on the defensive end. Javon Hughes down by seven are the Saigon Heat. The kick into Bernatowski for three. Unable to hit it. There's a call on the floor. It is on Brandon Jawato. Seems like a loose ball called. Blocking foul. Yeah, and he made some contact with the official there. I know he was trying to show him what the other player did, but you can't.
can't hip check the official like that. And a great job by the official of showing some restraint, understanding the time scoring situation. And talking to Brian Rosen, explaining the call a bit. And a lot of liberty there for Brian Rosen. So with just a little under three minutes, the Saga need half the ball down by seven points. Back to Justin Young. John Kwa comes back into the game, immediately pulls up for a three, unable to get that, but the Saga need come away with the rebound. Long way long, burning some precious seconds off the clock for the hometown Heat. Now this is the time you're on your high screen and roll, about two and a half to go, but we like the, the post mismatch here, Herring against Tron. Back down Justin Young to play earlier, backs again. A foul called on the floor, that could be on Bernachowski. Seems like it said it's, that is on Bernachowski, that is his fourth personal foul, a big call, but not a lot of time left, only 2.24. And got his hand caught in a cookie jar, as we like to say. And picked up his fourth foul, and, and that's a good call. Foul on the floor. It was not, not in the shooting motion. Douglas Herring getting bodied up by Trayvon. He was great defense. Trying to make his way. And the collision there by Daryl Watkins on Trayvon Hughes. A little bit of a frustration there. Wow, sensational on the ball defense by Trayvon Hughes. Giving up nothing to Harry, and he gets a much needed defensive stop and a turnover. The Saigon Heat will get the ball coming out of the timeout. to come out of the timeout. This is the Asain Basketball League Season 9 Rise to Greatness between the Saigon Heat and the BTN CLS Knights. It's been a close game so far here at CIS Arena in Ocean City. CLS Knights up by seven points. This will be an important and crucial possession for the Saigon Heat. Yeah, the story of this game been the second half adjustments made by Brian Rosen and the CLS Knights. Only 17 second half points for Saigon Heat. And all the credit goes to the CLS Knights defense. Chandra bringing up the ball. He has Wong Wei Long on him. Solid game all around by Chandra Kwa. Drive to the paint. Able to draw the foul. It's on Brandon Jawato. He was running out of options. Yep, and he got his hand in there as well. He just, I, you know, I'm looking at the matchups out here, and if I'm Brian Rossum, I put Darrell Watkins on Justin Young. I put Brandon Jawato on Hamilton. Because now, when he puts Watkins on Hamilton, Watkins is too far away from the basket, and guys like Tron and Hughes and Bernatowski are going to be able to get to the rim with no resistance. We'll see if he makes such adjustments after two made free throws by Chandra Kwa to cut down to five. Joato has Young on him as he brings the ball up. Gamble there, Joato, nice drive, called for the traveling violation. Unable to settle his feet as he gets the ball. Another turnover. Sorry there, partner. No, no, it was just another turnover by the CLS Knights. Crucial timing. I'm going to, you know, throw my hands in here. I don't know what's a travel anymore, but that looked like a travel. you got to put the ball down, but all these different fever rule changes, but I thought that was a good call. Still a crucial possession here once again. John Kwa ran out of options again on the drive. Similar play, no foul call this time. 
still down by five as time keeps ticking down. Long way long. It's the ball, it's having ball on him. Way long has 12 points in the game. Watkins, a monster game at 18 and 15. That's out of his range though. Gets it to Escher with 24. Nice move, Bernatowski fouled. And that is a big call. That's the play of the game right there, partner. And that was a good call. You can see it on the replay here. Bernatowski shoves him with the right arm. And Escher sticks with the play. And you know, that, that's a tough one right there for the Saigon Heat. But a big play by Maxi Escher and a big bucket against his former team. Coming out of the timeout after Murphy Bernatowski picked up his fifth personal foul. He leaves the game with 17 points, eight rebounds, and two steals. Maxi Escher will go to the line. He has 26, but he is with two for seven from the line. Let's see if the Saigon Heat go to the uh, Haka Esho <laughs> down the stretch. And that might be smart as he misses another. He's in his head there. I'm looking at this going. Score quickly, put Esho on the line, extend the game, see what happens. Chandra gets it to Durger, drives. Sit back out, Trayvon Hughes. Trayvon Hughes a little bit wild. Great defense by Way Long. Great rebound by D'Angelo Hamilton. And he gets the foul on Watkins. Yeah, good, good job of Saigon Heat, not giving up on a play. 59.3 to go. A chance to cut it to a two possession game, maybe down to five points if Hamilton can, Hamilton can knock down a couple free throws. Hamilton did his work earlier in the first half. He had many runs. And misses out on adding more points to his 18 total. Yeah, every point matters. These points are critical for both teams. Esho gave another one away at the free throw line in the last possession, and Hamilton gives one right back. Manages to get one. They're down by six points with one more minute left in the game. Seattle Knights have got to be patient. Gets triple team there, Brandon Jawato, and it's a jump ball. The possession arrow goes to the CLS Knights. Jawato bailed out there. That's a big mistake by Jawato. You got three, three of his teammates in the backcourt. You don't rush the ball up the floor and slow it across half court so the, the defenders upcoming can trap you from the weak side. Chris Turker with a steal. Gets the easy layup. And we're back to within four points. This is still a game, 40 seconds. Another steal by the Saigon Heat. Chaco Gua did not get the pass to Turker. Big, big turnover from the youngster. Herring, burning some time, way long. Passes it, Daryl Watkins will kick it back out. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. You do not have to hurry. Chandangwa called for a foul, and he knows, he knows it was a big time turnover on the other side of the floor. That's a big mental error by Tron there. He knows it, and you can see it. Three seconds on the shot clock, 19 on the game clock. That effectively gives CLS Knights a chance to just about run the game clock out with 19.8 to go and a fresh 14 on the clock. Still cannot hang his head down. It's only a four-point game. 
Long way long. It's the ball. It's double team. Chai Nong Deflects the ball out. It will still be CLS Knight ball. Saigon he desperately trying to put more pressure on defense. Now they're doing a sensational job in the last minute here of turning up their defense. We saw this at home against the Singapore Slingers. Tough to close the Saigon Heat out at home. Brandon Chihuahua gets the pass to Esho. Jerker quickly fouls him. And as you mentioned, uh, this might be the hack Esho you were talking about. I would have done that with you know, 31, 32 seconds to go. But Esho on the line, he's two of eight. Esho is two of eight, but he has scored 26. Big, big points. Four of eight from the three-point line. But, and he rolls it in. Saigon Heat were ready to celebrate that missed free throw. Those soft C, uh, CIS rims. Uh, they're known to have the, one of the best rims in the region. The players love to come in here and shoot the basketball. Those kind of soft rolls that you get. Esho with a rare trip of two made free throws. Still, that's not enough to put Saigon Heat have to push the pace. Chris Jerker able to add two more. And Coach Brian Rosen calls a timeout for insurance. Yeah, good timeout there. Four point game. Uh, the, the only thing, well, one of the things that could really hurt you is a backcourt turnover, so advance the ball. Tell your players, don't throw it away from the basket like we saw Durker get that one steal. Throw the ball towards your basket. If it gets deflected by the time Saigon Heat uh, has, uh, has time to recover, we will have to go the length of the floor, and it's still a two-possession game, so get something to the rim. If the CLS Knights are able to go away, if they're able to withstand these final 10 seconds from the Saigon Heat, it'll be another big victory. It's their consecutive big win after an overtime win over the Mono Vampires. What a run this has been by the Knights. Yeah, well, it's safe to say that they don't play any boring games, do they? Uh, they're, they're a good team. You know, they made their changes over the holiday break, and they brought in Watkins and Herring. Uh, you can see that, that they improved the quality of their team. Herring brings in some veteran scoring, uh, poise and control, and, you know, you're getting contributions from a lot of different guys. And, you know, this, this team's capable of beating anybody, as we've seen, you know, over this stretch of, uh, you know, 10, 11 games. We mentioned earlier in the broadcast that the Saigon Heat are one of the best teams at home. But right now, the CLS have just invaded with a strong second half to take the four-point lead with only 10 seconds left on the clock. For the Heat, it is Celia, Hughes, Jerker, Young, and Hamilton. For the Knights, it is their usual Herring, Esho, Wong Wei Long, Watkins, and Zawato. Herring to inbound the ball. They get it to Wei Long. Quick foul by Celia to get Wei Long to the line. He has been a solid free throw shooter throughout his entire career, actually. Yeah, he has. And, you know, he's not afraid of the moment. He's been in many big moments in the ABL and, and at different levels of play in Southeast Asia. Wei Long hits his first attempt. That is his first ever this game. Probably will get the final timeout for the Saigon Heat. Assuming that Wong knocks down this free throw, and he doesn't. Lays it out, time will burn. Trevon Hughes brings the ball up. Kicks it to Hamilton, he has missed three earlier, but makes his first in this game. Cuts it down to two, but time will not be enough for the CLS Knights, for the Saigon Heat. The CLS Knights come away with a big, big away win. What a game this has been, Coach Kevin. Yeah, wow, extraordinary game. It's just what we expected from these two playoff teams. Hard fought, back and forth. The Knights made a run early in the game. Saigon Heat hit him with about a quarter and a half, and then a you know, nice adjustment at, at halftime by Brian, Brian Rosam. They played sensational defense, and uh, you know, credit to Saigon Heat for not, not going away late in the game and to make it close. And you know, this is the preview of what the playoffs look like. It's going to be quite a run in ABL 9. 41 second half points to 24 of the Saigon Heat. The CLS Knights come away with a win. This has been a marvelous experience here at the CI Serena, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, in the SA Basketball League Season 9. My name is TK Sachetan Kolsabun. 
It's been a pleasure hosting the game alongside Coach Kevin Yerkes, legend here in Vietnam. This has been a great experience. We hope you had a fun game as well. We'll be back for more games in the SN Basketball League. Stay tuned for the action throughout the entire rest of the season. quý vị trong trận đấu đầu tiên trở về sân nhà sau chuỗi 6 trận làm khách thì Sài Gòn Hit đã không thể có được một trận đấu như ý. Chúng ta kết thúc trận đấu với thất bại 79-81 mặc dù đã dẫn trước đối phương với khoảng cách là 12 điểm sau hai trận đấu đầu tiên. Vậy thì giờ đây hãy cùng đến với những chia sẻ của phó huấn luyện viên Mai Singleton để xem điều gì đã diễn ra với các cầu thủ Sài Gòn Hit. Hello Mr. Singleton. So, what happened in the second half of the match? Uh, it's like how we've been doing all year. We took our foot off the gas. Uh, we stopped executing. We didn't get into our spots on offense. And uh, our poor offense created uh, offense for them. And uh, that, that was the game. The third quarter was one of the worst quarters we've had. And uh, it, was, it was all of us. We have to take it on the head. So, how do you think about the stamina of the player in this match? Yeah, I mean, we were tired. I think both teams were tired. but. At the same time, you got to dig down. I mean, uh, there were so many chances and open shots that we missed, so many situations, of execution where we didn't make, and uh, rebound offensive rebounds, you know, that we gave up. Uh, so it was really on us. Uh, we lost the game. Yeah, thank you for your sharing. Sorry for this match, and good luck for the following matches. Vừa rồi thì chúng ta đã đến với những chia sẻ của huấn luyện viên phó ông Mai Singleton và ông đã giải thích cho thất bại của ngày hôm nay đến từ việc sau hết đã thiếu đi rất nhiều sự hiệu quả trong nửa sau của trận đấu và chính điều đó đã khiến cho Sài Gòn Hit đã không thể có được chiến thắng trong trận đấu thứ 10 trên sân nhà của mình. Nói về năng lượng của các cầu thủ ở trận đấu ngày hôm nay thì ông cũng cho biết là cả hai đội đều tỏ ra mệt mỏi sau chuỗi trận vừa qua, nhưng Sài Gòn Hit là đội bóng chơi kém hiệu quả hơn và kết quả này là một kết quả xứng đáng. Ở mùa giải năm nay thì Sài Gòn Hit đã vượt qua 10 trận đấu trên sân nhà và còn 3 trận đấu nữa trên sân nhà của Sài Gòn Hit. Và tuần sau thì chúng ta sẽ tiếp đón câu lạc bộ Chu Hải World Warriors vào ngày 3 tháng 3 và trận đấu đó cũng sẽ tiếp tục được diễn ra trên các uh, hệ thống của truyền hình FPT. Kính mong quý vị và các bạn chú ý đón xem. Còn bây giờ thì thời lượng dành cho trận đấu ngày hôm nay xin phép được khép lại. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.